Coin Analyst provides an artificial intelligence and big data analytics platform um, that enables investors uh, to be able to do extensive research. Uh, what do I mean by that? We actually go out and crawl the internet for all things crypto, digital asset related, pull them in with our uh, big data platform, and then through the use of artificial intelligence, we actually create some specific indicators um, so that we can help people make better determinations on whether or not they should be buying or selling or, or holding different digital assets. Some of the indicators that we've created include uh, buzz, which measures uh, the news, uh, the number of articles and the number of social media mentions uh, within the internet space. Um, there's definitely a direct correlation there when it comes to an increase in mentions. Um, we can see it oftentimes happening before the price of the, um, the token itself actually moves up or down. We also have other indicators such as a uh, pricing indicator, um, a predictor actually. And so what we do with that is um, we, we take all of the information that's out there and run it through the uh, machine learning and the artificial intelligence. And it actually creates a indicator of whether that uh, token is going to go up or down in the next 12 to 24 hours. And what's really neat about it is we've actually been hitting at about a 55 to 70% accuracy rating uh, ratio right now with regards to Bitcoin and Ethereum, whether they're gonna go up or down in the next 12 to 24 hours. Um, the third one that uh, we've also been working on is one for scam detection. Um, this one, as it stands right now, takes time to develop um, in, in the marketplace. We're not gonna be able to catch those quick 24 hours, those, those rugs that are happening that are very common, but uh, we are working to uh, actually improve on this indicator, adding in uh, essential um, data to be able to track the, um, the smart contract itself um, and, and in hopes that we can uh, uh, you know, use that to determine whether or not there are issues or potential issues in the future for those different tokens. So we are a software as a service model. Um, we right now we have three different uh, revenue streams. The first one being our insights platform. Um, and to expand a little bit further on that, we're actually revamping that right now and, and looking to uh, release that in Q1 of 22, coming up here shortly. Um, we're going to be having a mobile version, a freemium version. Um, we feel like it, it, we're right on the cusp of crypto and digital assets becoming mainstream. And um, it is our goal to help people better understand and, and, and to be able to learn and, and have transparency in, in that space. So we're looking to build a, a mobile version initially um, that's actually in development right now um, that we really kind of see as an on-ramp for beginners um, people who are new to crypto, but it'll also have uh, relevant data for um, seasoned investors and, and traders as well. Um, the idea behind that is it's a it's a it's a freemium version, and and it uh, it like I said is the on ramp moving into our insights platform, which is our very robust uh, research platform that currently gives information on the top 300. Uh, tokens that are out there, and we continue to add more, uh, you know, uh, on almost um, a daily basis. Um, so, so that is ever expanding as well. And then the third piece of our insights platform is actually a terminal, which is also under development right now. And the idea behind that is we will take the indicators and the the pieces from our research, our insights research platform, and we'll actually bring. The those right into the terminal. So somebody who is a, a, a trader, for example, won't have to be going from web page to web page trying to find information on different uh, um, tokens to trade. Everything will be right there in that platform. 
uh, along with uh, where, where we intend to put uh, uh, connections into some of the uh, uh, most popular exchanges as well. So it's really going to end up being hopefully what we see as a one-stop shop for traders to use. In addition to that, we have a copy trading uh, platform where, uh, which is available in, in Germany and the EU currently. Um, it is Baffin approved uh, and it is, um, it, it's a, uh, a product that allows you to um, mimic the trades that uh, um, our platform and our internal traders are, uh, are generating. Uh, so, and that one's been uh, that one's been doing very well for us. And then the third one, which we just recently uh, announced, I believe around the beginning of December, was we actually have a newsletter um, that we started in April 2020 um, through November. It actually was up over 1,100 percent in total, uh, and and um, we now are offering that on a uh, monthly subscription basis as well. Um, all of these can. Uh, you can learn more about all of these on our uh, on our website, which is coinanalyst.tech. I think the 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 biggest piece, which I've already mentioned, is that it is a one stop shop. Um, we are bringing all of that information together into one place, um, so you don't have to go out to the likes of coin gecko or a you know different other other different sites that you might have to go to to grab all of this information we're actually pulling it all together and putting it into one location for you in addition to that it's also our artificial intelligence and our big data because we're able to pull all of this information in together we're able to show these different sentiments whether the market is positive or negative whether the token itself is positive or negative uh, we're able to throw in different indicators such as the um, prediction, uh, like I mentioned previously, and, and um, then uh, you know you're able to just really dig down and deep into uh, specific tokens that you have interest in, and and so we really feel that that is our uh, you know those are our, our our main components of what will drive people to use it. So recently, the entire market space, uh, the digital asset market space, actually briefly touched three trillion dollars in value. Um, it's pulled back considerably right now. I think it's just sitting just uh, just north of two trillion, which is still a, a very large number. <laughs> um, Bitcoin is obviously the king. Uh, that is worth uh, almost half uh, of the uh, overall entire market. It's just short of a trillion dollars right now. Ethereum itself is just short of 500 billion. They are they are also a, a very large um, in the uh, in the marketplace. Um, and then you have all of the other altcoins um, that are that are coming up and around it, and and they continue to kind of jockey for position um, after that number one and number two space. Um, some of the things and the key players in the market, I think, right now uh, that we're seeing. Uh, are the other blockchain options that are out there? Um, Bitcoin, obviously the big daddy, the one that's uh, you know they're still kind of trying to figure out a use case for it, but at the same time, you know now it's kind of like a, a stored value of money. Ethereum is where everybody started building things on. So you've got uh, uh, now you've got uh, groups that are out there, projects that are out there that are trying to alleviate those those high gas prices that uh, that we that we see that are very common right now. So you've got uh, projects like Polygon, um, Matic, for example, which is a, a layer two. So they're building on top of Ethereum. And by doing so, they're able to really reduce the price of gas and reduce the transactions. And then you've got um, completely uh, new blockchains as well, such as uh, Polkadot, uh, Solana, um, Avalanche, Phantom. Uh, there, there's a there's a whole number of uh, uh, new blockchains that are starting to come into play. Uh, they're cheaper, they're faster, uh, they have more specific use cases such as gaming, etc. 
Uh, and, and so we're starting to really see that materialize um, it, you know, in this later half of 21 and into 22. And then I think the other piece that we're going to see continue to be a big play into 2022 is, uh, are the NFTs, uh, non-fungible tokens, um, which, is, which is essentially uh, a digital ownership of a, or asset, uh, ownership of a digital asset on the blockchain. Um, so we're seeing that big right now into art um, and a lot of uh, NFTs um, um, artists are, uh, you know, finally being able to uh, develop their own economies, if you will. Uh, and uh, uh, so that's a, that's a super great uh, a use case for the NFTs. But we're also seeing it start to become more prevalent in gaming. Uh, and then um, the uh, the the. Uh, uh, recording the the music industry as well. Um, we're starting to see that really become a a, a a a dominating factor, and I think that will continue in 2022 and beyond. So that's a uh, very ambitious goal that we have, but we we do believe that uh, by building a robust, simplified research platform that somebody who doesn't know anything about crypto can use to the institutions, to the traders, to the people who, um, you know, have been in uh, crypto now for a number of years. Uh, and so we are continuing to build out this platform and, and like I said, make it as, as simple but robust enough for everybody to use. Another another component, of course, would be to listening to our users um, and, and and developing those indicators that they feel are are, are necessary to help them. Um, you know, we we uh, we we can build uh, the ones that we feel um, are are going to be helpful, but really, it's our users who are also going to be able to bring that information to us. Uh, so we're going to be also developing what we hope to be a very robust community um, and an engaged community that works with us to help us uh, to drive that number. And then finally, um, you know, the most important thing uh, in, in the space right now is transparency. Um, it, it's uh, it, it's not there yet. So um, you know, that's 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 part of the impetus for us to 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 drive. Um, and, and to to go to work every day, to be quite honest, is is to build that transparency and to build that uh, that bridge between um, the unknown and the known. And um, you know that so that is our goal is to bring that transparency. And we hope that in doing so, um, you know the the end user sees that uh, we're bringing a, a considerable amount of value to the table. Um, and, and to them as they take their path down, you know, their journey down uh, the digital asset uh, uh, yellow brick road, if you will. So we actually did a small raise in 2021. Uh, so we've got some uh, funding in place that's uh, helping us build out our, uh, our platforms, as I've already mentioned. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, the, the the funding in place to work on the marketing to drive us hopefully to those large numbers of users over the next uh, year, year and a half. Um, but what we're also looking to do is is we're looking to grow both organically as well as through acquisition. Um, so I would say that while we have the money in place that we need right now, we're always looking to create a better, stronger company. And if the opportunity comes about that, uh, um, you know, it's, there's uh, acquisition or acquisitions to be made and, and, and the funding uh, needs to be um, increased, uh, you know, we'll, we'll certainly be looking at uh, how the market conditions uh, are in 2022 and, and uh, uh, raise money accordingly if uh, necessary. <laughs>